What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing the Kang Toys Firmament. Their version of a stylized dive bomb. So I am working my way backwards from the later ones. So I started with number six, five, four. This is number three. This one did come out a while ago so it might be a little bit old but we're still going to take a look. Got that nice artwork on the front. On the back you got the Alta mode and that artwork and some line art there. And this one didn't have teeth on it, so I can just get it open. We have the instructions here. And the instructions are actually not terrible, but <laughs> a little cheat I've been using. Emgo's videos. Emgo makes very good videos. I have to admit his transformation videos are very very good So unless you're watching mine or if he hasn't reviewed it, I do recommend Emgo He does a good job right, Here's the collector's card That same artwork and then the tech specs and his weapons description Chinese Again that same artwork. It's actually pretty nice artwork. Here's the back it almost looks like a female, to be honest, but I don't think it was a female. I can't remember. I don't think it was. And there's the instructions. Mind mode in there as well. All right, let's just get this guy open. There's a lot of stuff in this box, so it's going to take me a minute. Wings are actually massive. Look at this. That's huge. Wow. Got two of those. We've got some guns. Again, done in that black plastic and then silver accents. We've got a hand because he's going to make the arm, so you got to have the hand. It does transform into something, so we'll take a look at that. You've got his sword. Kind of like what we got with their Rhino. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Okay, I think that might be it for accessories. So we'll get this guy out of here. This is kind of funny. That styrofoam looks like an angel. <laughs> and we'll get this guy out of here. He is packed in here tight. Uh, he, but it does protect the figure, so... I do appreciate that. Here he is. And I don't know. First impressions, it seems a little bit unsteady, but it might be just due to not being, you know, transformed correctly. So that might take a little bit of adjustment on my part. It does feel nice and hefty. Yeah, something's, something's off here. I'll have to figure it out. Arms came unplugged as I was unpacking it, but it does look pretty wild. It's a lot going on. Got some plastic protecting it. Yeah. It kind of looks like a swoop almost. It's kind of funny. So, certainly interesting. Yeah, we can't we got, can't get out of here without putting his wings on, so we got to do that. So let's see how those work. Comes with some plastic protective pieces here. Looks like it just slides onto there. Yeah, it looks like right here. Let's see. I think we can just take this and go like that. Yeah. So that's very similar to the cannons that we had for uh, the previous figure we just looked at. Their Razor Claw, whatever his name was. These are gorgeous wings. It's got some really nice paint on it. Hopefully they don't collide or anything with transformations. This 
one on there. Okay, now he's looking more complete. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. This is kind of the same issue I felt with the Razor Claw, which is it's really bulky. It's got a lot going on. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I guess I started with all the good ones because now I'm going through the ones that I'm not feeling so great. Um, one thing that's already bugging me is these ankles. They are on friction, but he's so back heavy. So maybe there's a way to uh, get this a little bit more stable. So I'll have to check that out before we get the review. So stay tuned for that. Um, and we'll see you then.